to click. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are all starting off your day absolutely amazing. And that is exactly what we are going to talk about today on this Zoom is how to start your day in the best way to just have an overall positive day, whether it be when you're going to your job or if you're working your business from home or if you're just at home on the weekends, whatever it may be, just some simple steps to start your day off right and have a positive outlook for the day. Because I don't know about you guys, but how many of you, when you wake up within a couple hours, something happens that you're like, is this real life? Because I swear it's me like every day, whether it's this morning, I'll tell you what happened this morning. I went to throw a blanket into the dryer and I literally threw it and I busted my hand on the, like punch the dryer when I threw it. And I was like, great, did I just break my hand? You know, it's like always something with me. I'm like the queen of clumsiness. I should live in a bubble. Um, some of you guys know that personally. You've seen me trip and fall and God forbid I wear sneakers because I can't walk in sneakers. I don't know why, but I can't trip all over my feet. It's a, it's a complete disaster zone. So some of these steps are really going to help you to be able to just start your day off in a good way. And when those things happen, be able to brush them off because... I'm always a fan of saying if something like that's not positive that happens in my day is not going to affect me a year from now, I'm not going to dwell on it very long because what's the point, right? Like let's not, it can ruin maybe that moment, but don't let it ruin your day, your week, your month. You know, I've seen people that let things drag on forever that bother them that I'm like, I just don't get it. Like, but I too was that way at one time, you know, it took me a really long time to get over things, but these are some simple steps that are really going to help you to wake up, have a positive outlook and totally be able to crush your day. So I'm curious guys, let's use the chat box over here. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Besides P, I know a bunch of people are going to say P that's me. Why is that? Like, yeah, as soon as you wake up, like you have to run to the bathroom. Like you didn't have to pee an hour before or two hours before, but when you wake up, you have to pee, right? Okay. I know one thing that a lot of people do, and I was super mega freaking guilty of this for years. And that is they pick up their phone. And if that is the first thing you're doing in the morning, it is no bueno. Cause guess what? While some things might be positive on your phone. You never know when you're going to get that nasty gram or you're going to see something negative that someone posted. If you're scrolling through Facebook that you're like, Ew, I can't believe they posted that. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of, a lot of negative stuff on the internet. There's a lot of negative stuff on Facebook. Um, I am a fan of the delete button on those type of people because I just don't deal with it. There's a difference in having a problem that's legitimate to share on Facebook or just complaining and being, you know, Nancy negative, right? Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do is going to be hard. I'm going to start with 30 minutes. I do it for one hour, but I'm not going to lie. It took me a while to work up to that. But the first 30 minutes after you wake up, don't look at your phone, guys. Don't look at your phone. If you can do an hour, that's amazing because you really want to focus on some other habits to get going before you pick up. I like that coffee and yoga. That's a good one. I really want you guys to focus on some other things and maybe, maybe you have to be at work at 6 AM or 7 AM. Sorry guys. I still have the crud. Maybe you have to be at work at 6 AM or 7 AM. That's okay. Guess what? Get up, get up 30 minutes earlier. We all have the same 24 hours in the day. One of my favorite sayings is both the billionaire and the beggar have the same 24 hours in the day. It's just what they do with their time that makes it a little bit different, right? So one of the first things you should do as soon as your feet hit the floor is drink a glass of water. And I'll tell you why this was very difficult for me. Cause you guys know I'm not a huge water drinker. It's really been a hard practice for me the last year to get into drinking the amount of water that I need to. 
but drinking that water really gets your body into activation mode. And there are studies that show that it just overall changes your personality throughout the day. It's going to get all your organs moving and all that good jazz. So get up, drink a glass of water. If you have to chug it down in two minutes, whatever, just get it in. Okay. So get up, drink a glass of water guys. And you're not looking at your phone yet. Right. Right. Everybody's like, I'm not going to not look at my phone, but I know you guys can do it. If you have to put a sticky note on your phone that says, don't touch me for 30 minutes, then do it. I'm a fan of sticky notes and reminders. Huge fan. Okay. The next thing that I like to do in the morning that is a proven way to really start off your day well is to practice gratitude, guys. <clears throat> no matter what it is that's going on in your life. We all have bad things going on, right? All of us. There's tons of things that happen every day. Um, I'm always say, you know, whatever I'm going through, I guarantee someone else is going through something worse. You know, I know a lot of people that I speak to on, on this team and that I have over the years that when there's a moment that I'm like, oh my gosh, could anything else happen to me? And then I speak to them. I'm like, you know what? It could be worse. So no matter how bad we think our situations are, there's always someone that's going through something worse and there's always something we can be grateful for. I'm a big fan of having a gratitude journal, whether it's just the little journals that you buy at like the Dollar Tree for a buck, like they sell tons of little notebooks, just to wake up and write down a few things that you're grateful for. You know, if, if you're having a hard time thinking of something, did you wake up? Did you open your eyes? Because some people didn't. You know, there's always something that we can wake up and be grateful for. So I think that's a really important way to start your day off. And it's a really positive note that's going to really have your brain, you know, guys, thoughts are things. So if you're starting off your day thinking about positive things, your brain realizes that. And I know it sounds crazy to a lot of us that haven't done it for a long time, but the more positive things you put into your head, your life just becomes more positive. It just is the way it is. <clears throat> it brings me to one of my favorite books, um, Success Through a Positive Mental Attitude. It's a great book and it's true. Like it's absolutely true. The more positive you are, the more success you will achieve. Okay. The next thing, and this might be something that some of you guys do. I'm going to assume a lot of people don't. Um, I didn't do it for years and I still do not do it consistently but it's on my list to do. And that is either meditation and or yoga. Some type of silence and good stuff for your body or soul. And I am going to be quite honest here. When meditation was first introduced to me about five years ago, I was like, kind of crazy people sit and do this stuff. Like you just going to sit in silence, like with your eyes closed and think about stuff. Like, you look like a crazy person. Like I, that's literally what I thought until I started doing it and realized the power of like silence and thoughts. And it's kind of crazy. Um, it's really crazy to me. So meditation and yoga, whether you do both or whether you do one, both of those are a great way to start your day. Guys, even if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you can fit into your schedule. Okay. Which brings me to my next one, and that is to get moving. Start your day with some type of exercise, whether you have 60 seconds to do jumping jacks. Getting your body moving in the morning sends those positive, what are they called, endorphin, I'm not good with words, we know this, um, to your brain. You don't have to be, you don't have to be um, super smart to be successful in this business. I'm, I'm that's a my point that I'm bringing to you guys, but it says there's positive endorphins, you know, to your brain to get you moving. So whether it's 60 seconds of jumping jacks or, you know, I have a rebounder. It's like one of those little mini trampolines. Um, and that's something to kind of is fun to get yourself moving on because you don't feel like you're really working out, but they're proven to like do a lot of good stuff or whether you are actually a workout person that you're going to start your workout with 10, 15, 30 minutes, whatever, of some type of exercise. So I'm challenging you to at least start your day with 60 seconds of exercise. And if you can't find 60 seconds to invest in yourself in the morning, we got a problem, right? Like, I'm pretty sure you can all do that. The next thing 
is to listen to at least 10 minutes of something positive, some type of personal development. Whether it's a book that you listen to, an audiobook. I'm huge on books, as many of you guys know. I listen and I read because I probably listen more than I read now <clears throat> because it's easier for me. I listen when I'm cooking. I listen when I'm taking a bath, when I'm doing my hair. Right now, I'm reading a book that's pretty good. The language is a little bit eh. So if you're sensitive to not so much adult vulgar language, you probably don't want to listen to it. But it's called the... Let me see if I can pull her up. It's called Becoming Superwoman. It's really good. And that's what I'm currently listening to right now. It's a pretty gosh darn good book. Whether it's a book that you're listening to, or if you don't have an app or something to download books to, guess what? There is tons of crap for free on YouTube. Type in, you know, positive podcast or motivation or there are so many sports figures, if you like sports, or actors. Um, some of the best speeches I've heard are from actors, which is really crazy to me, but then it makes sense because they've been through so much to get to where they are. You know, I know Will Smith has stuff, and Arnold Schwarzenegger has some really good stuff, believe it or not. Um, <coughs> So sorry, guys. Um, Jim Carrey has a really good story. You know, there are so many things that you can listen to. And starting your day with something positive like that is really going to put your brain in the right place, guys. And the last thing, how many of you guys are my paper and pencil and list people? Anybody? Ask me. I get ultimate satisfaction of checking stuff off a list. Like to the point that my to-do list will have the smallest things on it, like wash the dishes or take a shower or do like literally every, because I get really big satisfaction from checking things off, no matter how small or large the task is, checking things off just freaking makes you feel good. You know, whether it's something you have to do for life or death or to not smell bad, <laughs> it's just a good thing to be able to check stuff off. So I would highly encourage each of you to, and this is your business life and your personal life, have a to-do list. Create it the night before. I like to do mine on Sunday nights. I map out my whole week of what needs done. Does it change throughout the week? Yeah, of course. Sometimes someone will message me and ask for help with something and I'll add it to my to-do list for the next day. But waking up and looking and knowing exactly what's on my agenda keeps me so much more organized. It saves me a lot of time because then I'm not sitting there thinking, well, what should I do next? What do I need to work on next? And trying to figure out what I'm forgetting to do. And it also gives you that satisfaction of feeling accomplished and really doing something with your day, staying on track and totally demolishing all of your tasks at hand. So I hope that these simple steps it is super simple, guys, but I'll tell you what, it's easy to do and it's easy not to do. And that's the thing. Some will, some won't. I always say some will, some won't. Who cares? You just figure out if you're going to be the one that does or the one that doesn't. The success all lies within you. And these are proven simple things, guys, to help. I'm not just, I'm not just trying to help you crush your business. I want you to crush your whole day. If you have a job that stresses you out, I want you to be able to walk in and when someone says something S-T-U-P-I-D, I want you to be able to brush it off and get to that point where you can just walk away. I worked in corporate America for a long time in a call center with 500 people. There was a lot of BS and a lot of D-R-A-M-A. -A. I wish I had these skills back then to be able to deal with that stuff. So that is all that I have for today. I'm going to stop the recording, but open up.